Hey guys, this is Scott with Motorsports Land here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to do a little walk around on a 2022 Heartland Bighorn Traveler. This is the 37TB. Um, the nice thing about this trailer is if you're ever kind of looking for like a, like a large cabin, uh, but you want it mobile, this, this is your guy. It's actually a lot of your bunk houses will have like a back bedroom that has bunks and stuff like this. This actually has a separate back bedroom with a loft. It's a really nice, nice option to have if you're looking for a, a secondary adult couple or adult kids or stuff like that it really gives you a better option um, just looking at the outside you'll notice you've got two big huge awnings you've got a, a 10 foot awning in the back you've got a 19 foot awning in the front it really kind of covers up the whole front porch and gives you a nice big front porch shaded area um, you'll also notice you've got the step above more ride solid steps going in the front entry and the back um, a lot of companies will will kind of cheap out and not only you know, do a nice one in the back. This one really does a good job of actually using both entryways and giving you a good you know entryway, nice solid step on on both. Um, you've got a huge pass through storage. This is nice because you've got three points of entry on here. Um, you know, you've got a really good space to have all your stuff. You've got a wireless speaker that hooks onto here so you can have nice entertainment on your front porch. Um, big seven and a half gallon propane tanks. You'll notice that all these doors are also held up with magnets and they're actual real solid width of doors kind of in their full-time living capabilities. Um, coming around the front, you've got a charging station here to, to, to put your exterior solar on there. You've got room for your batteries and your hydraulics. This is nice here because you've got an easy reel for your big power 50 amp power cord. That makes it coming in and out really easy. And then they've moved the generator prep down to the bottom. What that does is isolates that area for storage if you don't have a generator or it just opens up this hole, like I said, three point area to, to store anything you want. You've got the Rotaflex trail air with a pivoting head pin box. The nice thing about that is it controls your chucking going from front to back, gives you a lot smoother ride. Nice big actual fiberglass front cap like you want to see on a fifth wheel. Um, you've got two hydraulic slides in the back. You've got an electric slide up here for your, for your bedroom, which is nice to have. Secondary seven and a half gallon propane tank. These are your controls for the hydraulic leveling system. That's a six point hydraulic leveling system capable of, uh, of 60,000 pounds of lift. Kind of overkill, but that's kind of what you want to see. If you ever get a flat tire or need to level yourself off perfectly, that'll lift the entire coach off the ground. Again, just massive big pass-through storage. In your station here, you can see you've got your outside shower, you've got your tank fills, your inlet, your hot water bypass for your winterizing. Here in Utah, we have to do a lot of winterizing in the winter just to keep our trailers safe. But a nice big, you know, convenient station here. Hot water heater, exhaust for your furnace. You can really see the six point hydraulic leveling system. There's a couple different kind of leveling systems. There's an electric and there's a hydraulic. This hydraulic is the six point. It really gives you that good lift and stability. Um, coming around to the back, you've got your nice 50 amp cord. You've also on your spare, you've got a really easy situation where it just drops down. The spare tire slides out and gets it easier. Um, what that does, it allows your back to be free and clear. You've got a 300 pound receiver on the back, so you can put a tray, you can put a bike rack, um, whatever you want back here and additional more storage. They do a really good job of utilizing all of the space in the trailer, so there is no dead space, whatever. Um, you've got backup prep for your camera, a nice ladder because you've got a fully walkable roof there, so you can hop up on top and check your seals and stuff like that. Um, Coming around to this side, you've got an outside kitchen station. You've got a nice stove top here, opens up. You've got storage back, ever chill refrigerator. Um, that's a nice, you know, electric refrigerator just to kind of keep everything cool. That's the access point for your, for your spare tire. Like I said, nicely, your second entry even has the nice steps, nice big grab handle as well. Um, it does, they do a really, really good job. Um, let's go around to the front of it and you guys can see on the inside, As we come in, you can see because you've got two dual opposing slides, it gives you a really nice island kitchen. You've got a high rise faucet with a pull spout. You've got a nice stainless steel sink with your dish rack here. Um, coming around, we use, in Salt Lake City, we optioned to have the 12 cubic refrigerator. 
The reason that we do this one is because it's gas or electric. Um, we like to do a lot of dry camping here, so you at least want to have the ability to go dry camping if you, if you, if you can. That way you can use your propane or if you're plugged into power, use your electricity. Um, you've got a nice three burner stove top with a good grill on the top. You've got a nice oversized oven here with your convection microwave as well. So it's nice to have the convection microwave and the oven giving you some different options of, of, of what to cook on. Your entire island is completely full of drawers and cabinets, metal ball bearings, full extensions. They just, like I say, do a really good job of utilizing all the space, you know, even storage underneath the oven. You don't wanna have any dead space in a coach. Um, nice entertainment center here. You've got good cabinets above for your games. Nice good sized TV. You've got a fireplace. The nice thing about the fireplace, if you're plugged into power, it really gives you a secondary form of heat. It's gonna heat up this whole area and not have to use your, your propane for your furnace. Again, just more storage everywhere that, that it can be, it is. Um, you've got a nice trifold sofa here that comes out to another bed. Um, your table and chairs, you've got these. They're nice and rustic looking. They're really like sturdy. They kind of match the decor for the, for the island and for everything else. Um, you do have two more chairs that go here that are stored up underneath the bed in the master. Um, extension on your tabletop as well, just to give you the optimal space. Again, massive, deep storage everywhere that there can be. There is. Nice decor lights. You've got an actual good pantry here that's got three shelves and a bottom part on it. Um, wireless charging station for your phone. Hate to kind of bring your phone everywhere these days, but your phone is now your camera, so it kind of works that way. Um, you're pre-wired for the generator, which is nice because you've got it already set in there, so it's kind of halfway through the battle. Um, all of your lights and things are controlled from here. Again, you've got just more deep, full pull-out drawers all the way through. As we step into the back, you can actually see the full back bedroom. Um, as opposed to like a bunk house, this gives you a real full-size bed. You've got cabinets above that are nice and deep to hook into. You've got really good storage even underneath the bed as well as a nice loft up top. The loft is rated for 300 pounds, so a two, two adult couple could get up there easily. You've got really good lighting everywhere. Nice sturdy ladder to get up to the loft. That tucks away nicely so you can show the second half bath. Um, it's got its own TV in here and ducted AC will keep it nice and cool or ducted heat keeps it warm. Um, into the second bath, it's nice again that you've got that second entry. It really alleviates all that traffic of back and forth, back and forth, going through the main coach. You can just come right in and out of here. Again, really good countertop, sink, another separate medicine cabinet that's nice and deep. Even it's got its own porcelain toilet. Just a really good option for your second big cabin style trailer. Now let's go up to the bedroom to check that out. Um, let's go up the stairs into the bathroom. You've got a good medicine cabinet here. Again, more space, nice countertop area, good size sink. You've got a three section door here, the trifold that, that opens up and slides a lot better so you have easier access into the, into the full size bathroom. Porcelain toilets are good for many reasons. They clean easier and they're just more of a residential feel. Um, coming into the bedroom, Nice walk around bed in its own slide out. You've got the two windows on the side for cross ventilation. You've got a nice decor headboard. Um, your individual 13,500 BTU AC here is controlled there from GE. You've got a separate 15,000 BTU furnace in the main area that controls the entire coach, but it's nice to have your separate isolated one here. You've got a huge walk-in front closet that's either completely storage in through this side or you also have your hot water um, station here for your washer and dryer as well. You got a great chest of drawers here. It opens up full length. Another docking station for your wireless speaker. 
Two nice windows, good TV in here as well. Again, this is a really great trailer if you're looking for almost like a cabin that's, you know, that's mobile where it's a little bit separate than like a bunkhouse or just a mom and a pop, like a rear living floor plan. Something like this would be a really good option if you have you know, an adult couple, some older kids, or two complete you know, separate, separate couples. So come and see us at Motorsportsland. Again, this is the 2022 Heartland Bighorn Traveler 37TB.